Here's an anxiety stress no one talks about. So I have a 50 year old patient right now who I'm treating for uh, anxiety and we're adjusting her medications. But the one thing she says is that she has a husband who is like never supportive of her. Like she says she'll come home and he'll just stay there on the couch watching TV, like watching Wheel of Fortune and not paying any uh, attention to her. She says that like when she has struggles, like she'll try to call him uh, like at work and he'll either hang up or say he's busy and then not answer and she says that like living with him like they're they have pretty much no sex life and it's kind of like they are roommates rather than uh, lovers and so we discussed the value of that in her um, life right and so she's taken all these like different medications to help deal with her anxiety but nothing citing the fact that she feels like she's like walking on eggshells and super tense in her home every time she walks in because she doesn't know how he's going to react. So what I've started doing a lot more in my practice is really focusing in on these like psychosocial factors like diet, lifestyle, relationships, mindset, and how we can adjust these things to help with their anxiety and depression, uh, not just medication management. And so I think because I think that really helps the long-term outcome of a patient and not just being like, okay, like here's more Prozac. Because ultimately the goal is for you to lead the best life that we can. And meds are just one way to help you do that.